Hello, St. Mary Grade 8, it's Mr. McHenry back with another lesson on probability. Today we're going to be talking about probability range. And we're going to be using um, the theoretical probability. So just a reminder that theoretical probability is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. And again, uh, when we are using theoretical probability, we are thinking that this is happening in a perfect world. So when all the outcomes of an event are favorable, the numerator and the denominator are equal and the probability is equal to one or 100%. When no outcomes of an event are favorable, the numerator is zero and the probability is equal to zero or 0%. Zero and all other probabilities lie between zero and one or 0% zero and 100%. And we can use a scale to show this. So on the left side, we have zero or 0% 0 and the event is impossible. And on the right side, we have one or 100% and the event is certain. So to mark the probability of an outcome for an impossible outcome, the probability that will occur is zero or 0%. 0 so for example, the, the month of September will follow the month of June. Well, that is not gonna happen, there's a zero percent uh, favorable outcomes so the that event is impossible or zero percent for a certain outcome the probability that will occur is one or 100 percent so an example the month of July will follow the month of June well that has a favorable outcome that equals the number of possible outcomes so that is event is one or 100% and we identify that event as certain and all other probabilities lie between zero and one or zero percent and 100% okay let's work through an example for probability range there is a bag that contains six red M&Ms and ten blue M&Ms and you pick an M&M from the bag without looking so now before we get started uh, it is really important in probability to be able to visualize what's actually happening. So I really encourage you to sketch out stuff uh, so that you can see it and then use that information to help you. So on the side here, I've sketched the bag and for the six red M&Ms, I put in six R's and for the 10 blue M&Ms, I put in 10 blues. So the number of possible outcomes is, well, we could have either six red and we could have 10 blue. So the number of possible outcomes is 16 or often referred to that as the total. And it's important to know what the total is. So now we want to calculate the probability of, of picking a red M&M. So the number of favorable outcomes, well, there in the bag there, there are six favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. Well, we just figured that out. The total is 16. So that is equal to 0 0.375 or 37.5%. So there's a 37.5% chance of picking a red M&M. &M. Okay, now we want to calculate the probability of picking a blue M&M. &M. So again, the number of favorable outcomes, well the number of favorable outcomes, I look at the bag and I see that there's 10 blues, so there's 10 favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes, which is the total, which is 16, and that equals 0 0.625 or 62.5% chance of picking a blue M&M. Okay. Now we are going to look to find the probability of picking a green M&M. Well, I've resketched my bag here and I look in the bag and there are no greens in the bag. So the number of favorable outcomes 
for green is zero divided by 16 which is equal to zero or zero percent chance so the uh, probability of picking a green M&M is impossible cannot happen okay the probability of picking a red or blue M&M is well when we hear that word or uh, it often refers to addition so how many red favorable outcomes do I have I have six plus how many blue favorable outcomes 10 okay over 16 and remember from integers that this division bar here acts like brackets so I'm going to put brackets around the numerator and I have 16 over 16 which is equal to 1 or 100 percent which is certain Okay, it is certain that I am either going to pick a red or a blue M&M from the bag. And the last thing that we want to speak about is complementary events. So complementary events, the outcomes of picking a red M&M and not picking a red M&M are complementary events because complementary events have probabilities that add up to 1 or 100%. So the probability of the event occurring. So picking a red M&M. So if we remember, the probability of picking a red M&M was 37.5%. Okay? The probability of the event not occurring. The probability of the event not, of not picking a red M&M. Well, if I didn't pick a red M&M, I'm picking a blue M&M. And if you remember that, that is equal to 62.5%. And if I add these together, I get 100%. Another way of calculating the event not occurring is to say, take 100% and minus away the uh, probability of the event occurring. And in this case, what would have happened is I would have taken 100% minus away the probability of the event occurring is 37.5% to get 62.5% of that I would not be picking a red M&M. Okay, so please go to D2L. Please do those practice questions uh, for the probability range. Take care.